Currency redenomination is the process of changing the value of a country's currency. It involves replacing the existing currency with a new one at a specific exchange rate. This can involve removing zeros from the currency, as seen in several historical examples. Essentially it's like exchanging old bills for new ones but with a different value attached. Redenomination doesn't inherently change the underlying value of the currency in the global market, it simply alters the way the currency is expressed. Think of it like converting centimeters to meters. The length remains the same, but the unit changes. Redenomination can be a tool to combat hyperinflation or simplify financial transactions. The decision to redenominate a currency is a significant one, often taken in response to economic challenges. It's a complex process that requires careful planning and execution. The success of a redenomination depends on various factors, including public perception and the overall health of the economy. Redenomination is not just about changing the physical appearance of money, it's about altering the psychological perception of its value. It can be a powerful symbol of economic renewal or a harbinger of deeper economic woes if not managed effectively. It requires careful consideration of the potential benefits and drawbacks. One of the primary advantages of redenomination is its potential to simplify financial transactions. Removing zeros from a currency can make accounting, pricing and daily transactions less cumbersome. This can also reduce errors and increase efficiency in business operations. A simpler currency system can also boost confidence in the economy. Another potential benefit is the psychological impact on inflation. By removing zeros, the perception of high prices can be mitigated. This can have a positive effect on consumer sentiment and potentially curb inflationary pressures. However, this effect is often temporary if underlying economic issues aren't addressed. On the downside, redenomination can be costly. Printing new currency, updating systems and educating the public require significant resources. There's also the risk of confusion and disruption during the transition period. People may struggle to adapt to the new currency, leading to errors and frustration. Perhaps the most significant disadvantage is the potential for instability if the underlying economic problems that led to the redenomination are not addressed. If inflation is driven by fundamental economic imbalances, simply changing the currency won't solve the problem. It might even exacerbate the situation by creating a false sense of security. Ghana, a nation on the western coast of Africa, faced significant economic challenges in the late 20th century, marked by high inflation. The Ghanaian CDI had become increasingly devalued, leading to practical difficulties in managing large sums of money. Daily transactions became cumbersome, and the sheer volume of banknotes required for even small purchases became a burden. In 2007, Ghana undertook a redenomination of its currency, slashing four zeros from the CD. The old CDI was exchanged for the new Ghana CD at a rate of 10,000 to 1. This bold move aimed to restore confidence in the currency, simplify transactions, and address the psychological impact of high inflation. The redenomination was a significant undertaking requiring extensive public education campaigns. The government launched extensive public awareness campaigns to educate the populace about the new currency and the exchange process. This involved utilizing various media channels, including radio, television, and print materials, to reach a wide audience. The goal was to ensure a smooth transition and minimize confusion among the public. The redenomination process was not without its challenges. Logistical issues arose in distributing the new currency across the vast and diverse nation. Furthermore, concerns lingered about the underlying economic problems that had led to the devaluation of the CD in the first place. Following the redenomination, Ghana experienced a period of relative economic stability. Inflation initially decreased, and the simplified currency facilitated easier transactions. Businesses welcomed the change, as it streamlined accounting and reduced the physical volume of cash they had to handle. The new Ghana SETI I became a symbol of economic renewal. However, the long-term success of the redenomination was mixed. While the initial impact was positive, underlying economic issues persisted. Inflation eventually began to rise again, and the new Ghana CD gradually lost some of its initial value. This highlighted the importance of addressing structural economic problems alongside currency reforms. The redenomination did have a lasting impact on the psychological perception of the currency. The removal of four zeros provided a sense of normalcy and restored some confidence in the CDI. This psychological boost, while not a permanent solution to economic challenges, 
provided a window of opportunity for further reforms. The Ghanaian experience demonstrated that redenomination can offer short-term benefits, but it's not a panacea for deep-seated economic issues. The long-term success of such an undertaking depends on addressing the root causes of economic instability and implementing complementary policies to support sustainable growth. Brazil's Redenomination Journey, Taming Inflation Brazil's history with currency redenomination is intertwined with its long battle against hyperinflation. Throughout the 20th century, Brazil experienced several periods of runaway inflation, which eroded the value of its currency and destabilized the economy. These periods of economic turmoil necessitated drastic measures to regain control of the monetary system. From the 1960s to the 1990s, Brazil implemented a series of currency reforms including redenominations. These reforms involved introducing new currencies, removing zeros, and adjusting exchange rates. Each redenomination aimed to simplify transactions, restore confidence, and combat the psychological impact of hyperinflation. One notable example is the introduction of the real in 1994. This redenomination, coupled with other economic reforms, played a crucial role in stabilizing the Brazilian economy and taming hyperinflation. The real replaced the Cruzeiro Real, and the transition involved a complex process of converting prices and wages. The Brazilian experience highlights the complex relationship between currency redenomination and inflation. While redenomination can provide a temporary reprieve from the symptoms of hyperinflation, it's not a cure in itself. Sustainable economic stability requires addressing the underlying causes of inflation, such as excessive money printing and fiscal imbalances. Outcomes and Impact on Brazil's Economy The introduction of the real in 1994 marked a turning point in Brazil's economic history. Inflation, which had reached astronomical levels, began to decline significantly. The new currency brought a sense of stability and restored confidence in the Brazilian economy, both domestically and internationally. The real became a symbol of Brazil's renewed commitment to economic responsibility. The success of the real was not solely due to the redenomination itself, it was part of a broader package of economic reforms known as the Plano Real, which included fiscal adjustments and monetary tightening. These complementary policies played a crucial role in curbing inflation and laying the foundation for sustainable economic growth. The redenomination simplified financial transactions and reduced the complexities associated with managing large sums of money. Businesses benefited from streamlined accounting procedures and consumers found it easier to manage their daily expenses. The new currency brought a sense of normalcy to economic life. However, Brazil's journey to economic stability was not without its challenges. The initial period following the introduction of the real saw some economic contraction and social unrest. These challenges highlighted the difficult trade-offs often associated with major economic reforms. Over time, however, the benefits of the Plano Real became increasingly apparent, and Brazil emerged as a stronger economy. Turkey's redenomination tail knocking off zeros. In 2005, Turkey removed six zeros from the lira, creating a new Turkish lira. Years of high inflation had devalued the currency, making transactions cumbersome. Prices were often quoted in millions or billions, causing confusion. The redenomination aimed to simplify transactions and restore confidence. Outcomes and Impact of Turkey's Redenomination Following the redenomination, Turkey experienced a period of relative economic stability, inflation declined, and the simplified currency made transactions much easier. The new Turkish lira became a symbol of the country's economic progress and its commitment to modernization. The redenomination had a positive psychological impact, restoring a sense of normalcy to economic life. Prices became more manageable, and the sheer volume of banknotes required for daily transactions decreased dramatically. This boosted consumer confidence and facilitated economic activity. However, as with Ghana and Brazil, Turkey's experience demonstrates that redenomination is not a silver bullet. While it can provide temporary relief from the symptoms of high inflation, it does not address the root causes of economic instability. 
Sustainable economic growth requires structural reforms and sound fiscal policies. In Turkey's case, the redenomination was accompanied by other economic reforms that played a crucial role in stabilizing the economy. These reforms included fiscal discipline, monetary tightening, and structural adjustments. The combined effect of these measures contributed to Turkey's economic recovery.